described as one of the most intense tragedies ever written. Michael Hurst has adapted to the changeling and is currently playing for a strictly limited season. Welcome to the cafe, director Michael Hurst and actor Anthea Freya Harrell. Yeah. Oh, guys. Uh, Michael, so Auckland Summer Shakespeare presents the changeling. Yes. But on, um, it's, it's, it's not Shakespeare and it's definitely not summer. That's right. It's the outdoor summer Shakespeare in winter. Indoors. That's not Shakespeare. And not Shakespeare. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The reason for that is because with the amazing success of the pop-up globe over summer, I mean, you know, everybody goes to that. And there's actually, believe it or not, there's not really any room for anything to compete with that. So rather than go, Ooh, we just went, let's do a winter summer Shakespeare. It's fine. And actually, the reason we've gone not Shakespeare is mainly because it's winter and you want something dark and seething with lust and <laughs> violence. And that's what we've done. As everyone does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but good. Okay, so tell us more about the changeling because it is quite it's quite very unique, isn't it? It is. It's look, it's there's a whole bunch of these plays written kind of in the six, from 1615 onwards. So at the end of Shakespeare's life, not by Shakespeare. It's like these guys were the Netflix writers. If you yeah. look at all the stuff that's on Netflix or Amazon, and it's all look at all the dark uh, serial killers, oh, supernatural. Yes. They are the same, exactly the same. The, the, the theatres wanted product, get it on quickly, because everybody's seen it very quickly. And so these guys would write these plays. And this one, The Changeling, is about a woman <laughs> who um, called Beatrice who uh, is engaged in a world where you were just traded, horse traded. Right. Was, she's engaged. It's all fine. She's accepted it, not a problem. But then she meets this other guy in church, which is sort of interesting, uh, and they fall for each other. But of course, she's married and it mm. can't happen. So there's a third man who she hates with a visceral loathing. He's a creepy, but he kind of, he's a servant and he dotes on her. He just gets himself into her sight all the time because he just, it's like he stalks her and he will take her abuse if nothing else. Oh. Uh, yeah, and so she goes, ah, I recognise this. Maybe I can get over my loathing of him, use him to kill the fiancé so I can marry him. Ooh. And you'd think, hunky-dory, but of course that's opening the the can of oh. very, very oh terrible wounds. <laughs> and it just goes <laughs> round and round like that. So, Anthea, it sounds like you've got quite the role. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's we incredible. Had, we had a little bit rumour too that you can be slightly clumsy on stage. <laughs> Would that be right? <laughs> I didn't know this when I hired her. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. Can I hear that you face-planted at the opening of Julius Caesar's yep. Globe? Yep. <laughs> and it could have happened. I was playing a variety of different characters, um, which was really fun. And it could have happened with any of the any of the other characters I was playing. They were kind of klutzy and kind of ditzy and stuff but no it was the most self-possessed kind of <laughs> the one leading everyone into battle and I had this wonderful entrance where I came right down the centre and ran up the stairs being like okay and I just <laughs> fell straight on my face and the whole you could it was a packed audience and it was just this intake of breath and <gasps> silence like has she really hurt herself <laughs> and my, uh, my uh, co-actor behind me went oh Octavius, you're so clumsy, and that was it. It was oh, no wow. one could oh, yes. get it together, and I had to take a bow and start the scene again. It was oh god, oh, I'm ready. Is <laughs> though, isn't uh, it? Well, I can't do I can't do that in this show though. It'd be horrific. I don't know. Depending when you're sort of at the end, when you're yeah, covered true. in blood, maybe. You yeah, can yeah. But I'm, I'm quite. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's quite self-possessed and very. No, she is. She's a manipulative, strong, mm. strong female character. She just makes a really bad choice. Yeah. And then she has to own it. That's the main thing about. They wrote incredible roles mm. for women. Funnily enough, still played by men at that point. This was written in 1618. So still in England only, Europe, women are fine. In England had to be played by men. But really strong characters, eh? Yeah, and is this one of the most challenging roles you've had to date so oh, far? Absolutely. Yeah, it's been... Um it's been a real, like, incredible challenge, actually. And I wouldn't have been able to do this a couple of years ago. It's that thing of going, right, I'm working at the extreme of my abilities, which mm. is, I think as much as anyone could ask for it. Oh, excellent. So what kind of oh. person? Who's going to like yes. the show, do you think? Oh. Well, we were talking about it before, weren't yeah. we? I mean, I, I think theatre goers are going to go anyway because it's, it's... They go, because they go. <laughs> yeah. But this is really clear, really understandable, really modern. I mean, I know it's 400 years old, but that's the amazing thing about it. Oh, it's so clear. You it's can, um, and, not that lyrical, actually. And, no, and they're so... These characters are so intense and warped. I think... I, I'm concentrating on trying to get the 20-somethings in because if they see it and go, ah, oh, this can work, this is great, finally. And the other thing is, you're in it. There's no set to speak of. It's like everybody's sitting 
everybody's sitting at a wedding reception and wow. it all happens all around. Excellent. Yeah. And we all know yeah. all the best stuff happens at weddings. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you both very welcome much for yeah. joining us. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. The yeah. Change League is currently playing at various venues throughout Auckland. You can check out the website for details. Yeah, and guaranteed to not be disappointed. Anything Michael puts his hand to is always a must-see.